Assalamualaikum fans Harlem Malaya. Hari ini eksklusif bersama saya Nazim Azman, uh, the first Malaysian driver to race in the Formula 3. Hi Nazim, how are you? Hi, thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, congratulations on becoming the first Malaysian driver to race in the Formula 3 championship after joining High Tech Grand Prix for the 2022 season. So, tell us, how do you feel? Uh, yeah, no, I'm very excited to start the season. I mean, first race is next week, so mm. one week left to prepare. But you know, quite excited, lah. and hopefully, you know, we could show and have some good results. But going into the season, yeah, I'm very excited, very excited to represent Malaysia to be the first Malaysian driver to race in Formula Three. So, yeah. yeah, it's good, and hope we have some good results. Back at your own racing career journey, can you tell us more about you? When did you actually start getting into this field? The challenges and your experience so far? So I started racing 2012, mm-hmm. I think go karts, and then 2017 I raced Formula Four, and then after that I started racing in Euro. Mm-hmm. Uh, last year I did Euro Formula Open, which is like European F3, and then before that I did British. So you know, I've been climbing slowly, but now it's like the world championship. So you know, it's it's more more intense. Excited and looking forward to it. You're young. You're young, right? Twenty twenty years old, right? Twenty. This year, so yeah. uh, was it ten years old when you started? Ten is it? Was it? Uh, Yeah, yeah, you're only eleven. Yeah, like kind of. Ten, ten, eleven, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Long time, actually. Almost. Nah, 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 nah. You say it's almost ten years. Yeah. <laughs> Today's my first year racing. Yeah. yeah It's been okay. very long time actually. Just young, right? <laughs> Being a Malaysian and getting into this sport is obviously not easy. Not easy for everyone and not easy for you too. It takes a lot to sacrifice in terms of like uh, financially, physically, and mentally. So how do you and your family manage that and finally be able to be where you are now? Yeah, obviously, you know, mm. a lot of it for cards is all like self-funded stuff, you know. But mm-hmm. then once you start going like higher up, you can find sponsors and stuff mm-hmm. paying for a lot of the racing because then once you add costs, it gets quite expensive, lah. Especially for t- You know, slowly you build, and you know you can yep. you get reputation. People start following you, and then like from that you can start like gaining like sponsorship and all that stuff. But initially, it's very hard to be honest. Yep. The first five years, you know, it's hard to find sort of sponsorship, especially in go karts, because it's not that big. So, but once you if you can break through, then it's it's a bit easier. It's going to be a smooth journey when you get that sponsors, right? So, uh, do yeah. you mind share share with us who's your role model? Is it Alex Young or Lewis Hamilton <laughs> or Max Verstappen? My role model. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I think I mean I don't really look up to anyone. Let's say I kind of, mm-hmm. you know, I, I I inspire to be me, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, <laughs> yeah, be yourself. Maybe one day I can be a one. Maybe yes. one day I can be a role model, but. <laughs> Yes. Uh, I just I do my I do my own thing. I try to like <laughs> stick to that. <laughs> so, what's your next target or plan after getting into F3? Maybe next is to get into F1. <laughs> uh, you know, I, right now it's a bit early, but I, I just want to see how the season goes. Mm-hmm. See how, and then you know we decide from there. Right now, it's still quite early to like decide like the future because. Yep. Motorsport is very like unpredictable, you know. Because every year it's like drivers in, like you don't know what's gonna happen. You know, people get like kicked very randomly, like yeah. Mazepin, like last week. So you you don't know what's gonna happen. So focus on the year, and then at the end of the year, that's when you can start planning for the next season. But I try not to make any super long plans and just try to, because you never know what's gonna happen. You know, maybe the year might go really well, maybe the year might go really yeah, badly, yeah. and you'll only know at the end of the year. To get to F1, we know that's quite tough, and it takes a long journey to get there. But nothing is impossible, right? As we can see now, yeah. uh, Yuki Tsunoda <laughs> from Japan now racing for AlphaTauri in F1. He took only mm-hmm. two years. He was in F3 in 2019, and then 2020, uh, F2, yeah. and then F1 in 2020. So it's roughly two years, maybe for you in 2024. Maybe who knows? <laughs> 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 Sorry, answer. Inshallah. 
I don't know. We will see. Do you mind sharing? Uh, what's your favorite race track? Is it Sakir, oh. Imola, Monaco, or Monza? Because majority of the drivers love Monaco. <laughs> yeah. No. I, okay. My favorite race track. I, I actually, if I look at the calendar, I think it's actually Bahrain. Bahrain. Honestly, Sakir. Yeah. The first round next week is actually for me the night one. Bahrain is very nice. Monza is very nice as well. I think all the tracks this year are very, very good actually. Yep. But all-time favorite track is uh, we don't race, which is very sad. But in Portugal, it's a beautiful track. I, I raced there last year. Uh, I raced there last year with Euro Formula with the F1, and that was very good. But this year we don't race there. Quite <laughs> a shame, but we still have some good tracks. You know, all the tracks this year, the nano tracks are bad. All the tracks are very nice. So we go to Spa and we go to Monza. So yeah, looking forward. Uh, no, of course, yeah, all all the time. Sopang used to be. Uh, I do all my racing there. Yeah. Used to go kart Sopang, so you know Sopang is like my second home. Second. <laughs> it was yes. like inside the house, you know. It's so it's, 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 it's yeah. Sopang. Yeah. Sorry, actually no, Sopang is my yeah. If it wasn't for Ito, you, you Sopang is my second track for my favorite track. <laughs> yeah, Sopang or Portimao for sure. But I think yeah. if you race, which is good because I've done like a thousand laps there, maybe more. <laughs> the first Malaysian driver to race in the F3. People would expect more from you, especially the Malaysian now. They expect you to be the second Alex Young one day because Alex Young yep, uh, was in F1. So how do you feel? Is it a little more like a burden to you because of the high expectation? Or you make that no, as an inspiration I, for you? I mean, it is an inspiration actually. You know, because yeah. the more people that watch, you know, the more publicity you get, you know, the more sponsors you can find. And that's yeah. good. <laughs> this is good. I mean, yeah, you know, I, I try to just, you know, all of this expectations for me, it doesn't bother me too much. So I do my own thing and I try to stay in my own, like, mindset, you know. And what everyone says shouldn't really affect, like, what you want to do. <laughs> yeah. Just stick to it, you know. The publicity is good, but, you know, you have to see why I my own expectations until the season starts so yeah. for now i'm just, just like try to do my own thing until like after round one and then maybe we can decide expectations especially for myself you yeah. have made this malaysian proud of you so is there anything to say to malaysian fans and specifically to all racing fans because what happens to sepang now is really sad oh so is there anything to say to malaysian fans uh, you know, inshallah, one day I can be there. And, you know, it would be nice <laughs> to have Nagaraku on a Wall Street. So, yes. we'll stay. But for now, you know, for now, uh, I try to do my own thing. And you never know, you know, in two, three years, yep. uh, we, we will see the future. Hopefully, you'll be in F1 in 2024. We look up to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, thank you Nazim for spending time with Haram Malaya. We wish you all the best and we hope that you continue to move forward and making all of us here proud of you. Thank you again, Nazim. Yes, okay, good, no luck, good luck. Good luck in everything you thank do. You so thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you.